Okay, so here, um, this is our new lesson under your feet. Okay, so the last time our topic was up, up in the ear, right? Yeah. Okay, so before we proceed here, um, can you just give me a little bit of um, uh, something you can say about the last topic? Uh, it is um, the B, uh, no, <clears throat> um, the, I think. Okay, so what was our <laughs> lessons? We talked about. Our lesson talk about mm. All right. We talk oh, about some some animals that can fly or some animals that we can uh, see up in the air, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we talked about some animals like um, butterfly, birds, and uh, some kinds of birds, and also bees, right? And other um, insects, okay? And now we are going to talk about mm, under your feet. <laughs> so when you hear these words, under your feet, what comes to your mind, Lee? Uh -huh, I think... Uh, I um, I think of the land. And land. Mm -hmm. And um, some animal live in the land. Yeah. Okay. So thank you for your idea. Yes, actually, we are going to talk about um, the soil, okay, and anything or insects that lives under the soil, okay. So here, <laughs> okay, here. So first topic is why do we need soil? Why, what do you think, Lee? Why do we need soil? I think we need soil to... Um, to uh, to keep trees. Yes, of course, and keep trees, and uh, there are some nutrients to animals' leaves. Yeah. So yes, you have ideas. Okay. So here, let's read this first, okay? So we often brush soil off newly bought mushrooms and vegetables, right? So um, in the soil, you can see some plants that is, what? Is growing under the ground, right? Yeah. Yeah, like for example, sweet potatoes and potatoes also. And... Um, some other vegetables that you need to dig and harvest the fruit or the vegetables, okay? So these are some of the foods that use the nutrients and water stored in soil to grow. So soil has lots of other important jobs too, other than growing plants, growing trees, and providing some nutrients to the uh, plants. They have important role in our environment, okay? So uh, one of that is from holding up houses to cleaning water. So do you believe in that? Do you think um, our soil can help uh, to clean water? Yeah. So. <laughs> okay, so let's find, uh, find out. Okay, look at this. So here, without soil to absorb it, rain can cause floods, right? Yeah, do you think um, 
uh, if there's no soil, the the raindrops or the rain will what? Will wash out all everything that is in the ground, right? Yeah. So here, soil absorbs rain. So they are the one who helps absorb the water from the rain so that it won't cause floods. Okay, here also, look at this. So filtering water. So one of the importance of um, soil is they help in filtering water. Kindly read this, Lee. Soil is the largest water filter on earth as water flows downwards through the soil more force chop multi bit in the water so it also takes in some harmful substances that have made it into the water yeah okay so um it says here that the soil help filter water and this is the biggest filter on earth okay so before um the water filling or the, the water filter came along so the first um the first um thing that helps in filtering water is the it's soil the yeah, it's the soil. But now, okay, so now you can um, uh, have mineral water, right? So they are alkaline water. They are, um, uh, let's say, distilled water, right? Because of the filters that is uh, already invented nowadays, right? So they are um, filtering machines that clean up the water. But before that machines came the first thing that helps to filter water is the is the uh, uh soil soil right very good okay so it says also lee that soil also takes in some harmful substances that have made it into the water okay so um have you noticed that the people in the mountains is not drinking um, bottled water. They are drinking fresh water from the rivers and lakes, right? Uh, do, you, do you know that? Yeah. <laughs> yes, because they believe that um, it's better to drink the natural or the what the fresh water because um fresh water from the lakes that is not um, polluted yet okay so um they have some minerals that can help to boost the immune system of a person or a human being okay so um because because there are lots of um water sources also that is already polluted that is the reason why those companies and those companies that um, uh, produces mineral or distilled or alkaline water because they want they wanted to help distribute or give the the public or the people safe drinking water because you can only see um uh lakes and water sources now that is not polluted because many of our sources not even uh not only here in the philippines but i think all around the world has been polluted already right yeah okay so any question about that lee i don't have a question <laughs> okay so next we have getting rid of waste. Kindly read this, Lee. Um, leaving things in soil eat organic waste and release it as nutrients into the soil, which have cleansed wool. Okay, so 
what do you think are those living creatures that is in the soil? Can you name one? Um, I think. Uh, yeah. Earthworm. Yes, very good. So earthworm also has a big role in our ecosystem because they help in the composition of some uh, materials that is uh, found underground. Let's say, for example, um, we throw some peels of vegetables or uh, peels of fruits, right? So that um, earthworm will help decompose those um, things or materials easily, okay? So earthworms are one of the, what? Of the, <laughs> yeah, of the animals and creature underground, okay? So what else? Aside from earthworm, what else? Mm, I think, um, um, I think is, um, <laughs> um <laughs> is battery, battery. I'm sorry, what's bacteria? Yes. Okay. Bacteria. <laughs> yeah, so there are also um, bacteria inside or underground that helps in the decomposition of um, some uh, waste or some of the materials that we throw in the grounds. Okay, so next. So first we have, it helps filtering water. Next we have getting rid of waste. And next we also have, what's this? Saving the planet. Yeah. Planet. Saving the planet. Why do you think? Why do you think soil can save the planet? Can you read this, Lee? A gas, coal, carbon. Carbon dioxide chops heat in the air and makes our planet warmer. So I store carbon found in carbon dioxide. So protecting them could have low global warming. Yeah, okay. So do you know that um, the trees or plants need carbon dioxide? Yes. Yeah, okay. How about people? What do we need? Uh, people need whole season. Yeah, okay. So there is a relationship between the people and the plants, okay? So the people re uh, needs oxygen from the plants because plants releases oxygen and also people releases carbon dioxide, okay? So how, it, how does it work? Okay, so let's say for example, um, it says here that the soil store carbon dioxide, right? So the carbon dioxide from the soil will be passed to the plants by, by the soil. Okay, so what happened next? So after that, if the if the plants can get carbon dioxide from the soil, so the plants releases oxygen and oxygen will be inhaled by us, by people, right? And then vice versa. So the, the plants will release carbon dioxide and the people will release, um, uh, I, I mean, <laughs> the plants releases oxygen and the people will release carbon dioxide. So we are exchanging what exchanging air okay mm. so aside from saving planet so we also have what's foundation. this yeah foundation. foundation 
Yeah, so here, kindly read this, Lee. Houses are built on foundations that are dug into the soil. If the soil becomes unstable, then foundations can slip and the house may start to sink. Yes, okay. So, um, that is why if you're going to look for um, a place where you wanted to build your house, you need to see to it that you are not going to build your house in the tip of the cliff, right? Because anytime that cliff will, what? Will slide or will slip, okay? So we need to look for a place that the soil or the ground is stable, okay? So um, when we say stably, that means that that is not prone to any landslide, okay? So even if there's a landslide, you are uh, a little, uh, let's say, far away from that place, okay? So if the soil becomes unstable, then foundation can slip and the house may start to sink. So that that happens, uh, let's say, for example, in the mountains, people living in the mountains and they build houses in the um, valleys or in the cliff or um, in the riversides, right? If the water gets big and it will be, um, they will have a flood. So the tendency is that their houses will be carried away by the water, right? Yeah. Okay. What else? So aside from foundation, we also have Oh, we also have um, food. Yeah, food. So here, many animals need soil growing plants to eat. In turn, other animals need to eat those animals to survive. So um, it's kind of chain, right? Okay, and then here next we have green spaces. Kindly read this, Lee, green spaces. Uh, green spaces. Green spaces are full of plants that absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen. Soil creates a sturdy foundation for roots. It, pro it provides a store of nutrients and water that plants use to grow. Yeah, so like what we mentioned earlier, so the soil will help the, what? The soil helps store water, right? So that means yeah. that if there is a plant in the soil, so the plants can get water from the soil and also carbon dioxide, right? And those nutrients and water is needed to, Need to plant. Yeah, it's to needed grow. for the plants to grow healthy. Okay. <laughs> okay, so here, so we can find some insects that is living underground. So what's this? Do you know uh, this? It, that is? Uh, that is... Mm. Centipede. Yes, very good. Centipede. Okay, so they they have lots of legs, and it's um, poisonous if you are uh, if you got bitten by this insect. Have you tried <laughs> bitten by this insect? Oh no. <laughs> oh, well, teacher guys have tried this. And it's very itchy, and you can uh, you can feel like a burning sensation and a tingling um, ache. It's a tiny ache that um, that can cause you not to sleep at night. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay. So kindly read this, Lee. Carbon, a uh, capture carbon. Carbon is found as a solid. And in 
and in carbon dioxide. Solid carbon is found in trees and is released into the soil when they rot. It can more easily become carbon dioxide from the soil. Making some trees into furniture can actually lock the carbon up for longer. Okay, all right, so capture carbon. So again, uh, carbon is found as, as a solid in carbon dioxide. So solid carbon is found in trees and is released into the soil when they rot. So it can more easily um, become carbon dioxide from the soil. So making some trees into furniture it can actually lock the carbon up for longer so this is the reason lee why um Ill, uh, illegal logging or illegal illegal cutting of trees are not allowed so that is prohibited by um, our government right hello lee oh uh, yeah <laughs> i thought you're gone <laughs> okay so Next, we have thread lightly. Uh, thread lightly. We create greenhouse gases by driving or walking on wet soil. Air is pushed out of the soil, which leads to more nitrous oxide and methane. Methane. Within, yeah, in the air. Yeah. Okay. So, again, we create greenhouse gases. So, how? By driving or walking on wet soil. And because of that, air is squashed out of the soil. So, that's the reason why um, nitrous oxide and methane in the air. Okay, so next we have grow things. Grow things. Plants change carbon dioxide into solid carbon, such as sugars, to make their leaves and roots. When they die, the carbon becomes part of the soil. Yes, okay. So also soil helps grow things, okay? Any plants that you are uh, going to plant in a healthy soil will grow also healthy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and next we have, look, look at this. Plants feed soil microbes with carbon from their roots. Okay, so... You are right earlier that you mentioned that there is or there are bacteria inside in the ground or in the soil. Okay. And they help or plants feed soil microbes um, with carbon from their roots. Okay. So remember that the carbon is always present in the soil and plants. Okay, so any question, Lee? I don't have a question. <laughs> okay, so I hope you learned something today because our time is already over. So since you don't have question, um, I will let you go now. <laughs> yeah. All right, so um, Lee, thanks for coming in my class. And let's meet on Thursday, right? Uh, no, Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Wednesday. Tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Lisa, thank you and bye-bye for now. Have a good day. Thank you. Have a nice day. All right. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.